Canon might finally be preparing for its biggest camera launch of 2025, and all signs point toward the long-awaited Canon EOS R6 Mark III, a camera that could redefine what hybrid creators expect from a full-frame mirrorless body. The original Canon EOS R6 debuted in 2020, followed by the impressive R6 Mark II in 2022, both earning widespread praise for their balance of professional performance and accessibility, blending top-tier photo and video capabilities for enthusiasts and pros alike. Now, with the mirrorless camera market heating up and rivals like the Nikon Z6 III and Sony A7 V on the horizon, Canon seems ready to raise the stakes once again. Recent reports from multiple reliable sources, including Canon rumors and the new camera, suggest that the R6 Mark III could finally be revealed before the end of 2025, potentially as early as November, though some insiders had hinted at a soft announcement before September near the International Broadcasting Convention. While Canon recently teased a cinema EOS camera launch, it's widely believed that the R6 Mark III will have its own dedicated reveal, allowing Canon to highlight this hybrid powerhouse on its own terms. The rumored specifications are enough to make any content creator excited. A new 32MP to 34MP full-frame sensor, potentially shared with the Canon Cinema EOS C50, offering 7K open gate recording at 60fps, 6K raw up to 60fps, and 4K at 120fps, a leap that would place Canon ahead in the hybrid video race. Combine that with 40fps burst shooting using the electronic shutter, improved dual-pixel CMOS AF2 with enhanced subject recognition, and an upgraded DigiC processor promising lightning-fast readout speeds and reduced rolling shutter, and you've got a machine that feels tailor-made for modern hybrid workflows. The new model is also expected to feature up to 6.5 stops of in-body image stabilization. Dual card slots likely one CFX Press Type-B and one SD UHS-2, a fully articulating LCD, and a high-resolution 5.76 million dot electronic viewfinder, similar to what we've seen on the EOS R5. Speculation also suggests a new, more efficient cooling system and an updated LPE6P battery design for longer shooting sessions. The design philosophy behind the R6 Mark III appears to be merging Canon's proven ergonomic comfort with the performance muscle of its cinema-oriented siblings, giving creators a single body capable of delivering professional-grade video and still photography. It's easy to see why many insiders believe the R6 Mark III could borrow from the C50 sensor architecture. Canon has been subtly blending cinema DNA into its hybrid cameras, and this would be a logical evolution in that trend. If true, Canon's move could help the R6 Mark III compete head-to-head -head with the Sony A7V's rumored 33MLP BSI sensor and the Nikon Z6III's advanced video capabilities. Where Canon might pull ahead, though, is in color science and autofocus reliability, two areas where Canon's consistency has long made it the go-to choice for professionals and YouTubers alike. For creators focused on hybrid workflows, this release could be massive. Imagine being able to shoot high-quality stills cinematic 7K open gate video, and ultra-fast bursts in one lightweight, affordable body. The implications for content creation, wedding filmmaking, and even travel vlogging are huge. The R6 Mark III, if it lands with these specs, would be the ultimate one-camera solution for creators wanting uncompromising flexibility. Canon's rumored strategy to debut this camera separately from the cinema line also makes sense, as it allows them to maximize hype and ensure the R6 Mark III doesn't get overshadowed. From a broader industry standpoint, this model could push competitors to accelerate innovation. Nikon's Z6 III is already shaping up to be a formidable rival with its stacked sensor and high dynamic range, while Sony's next-generation A7 V will likely bring AI-driven autofocus and advanced video modes. But Canon's rumored jump to a 32MBP 7K-capable sensor might be the ace up its sleeve. If the R6 Mark III truly captures oversampled 4K from a 7K sensor, Users can expect razor-sharp detail, excellent low-light performance, and incredible flexibility in post-production, especially for creators editing in 4K timelines who want to reframe or crop footage without losing resolution. Beyond specs, Canon's autofocus system could again set the standard. The dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system already tracks humans, animals, and vehicles with remarkable accuracy, but early leaks suggest the R6 Mark III might include AI-based subject detection similar to what we've seen in the Canon EOS R3 and R1 prototypes. In terms of handling, Canon is unlikely to mess with the winning ergonomics that made the R6 Mark II so comfortable, though improved button layout and weather sealing are expected. 
the body will probably retain the familiar magnesium alloy shell, maintaining a balance between durability and portability. From a content creator's point of view, the potential of 6K RAW or OpenGate 7K in a camera of this size and price could be game-changing, allowing filmmakers to capture cinematic visuals without stepping up to the Cinema EOS line or external recorders. Price rumors put the R6 Mark 32 around $3,000 to $3,200 at launch, which, considering the rumored leap in capability, would be a competitive figure. What makes this launch particularly exciting is how Canon seems to be positioning it, not just as another update, but as a camera that blends the best of its stills and cinema ecosystems, targeting the exploding creator market that demands high-end results from compact mirrorless bodies. By leveraging cinema-grade sensor tech, Canon could finally deliver a true hybrid flagship without the steep learning curve or cost of the higher-end R5 or C70. The R6 Mark III might also ship with improved heat management, addressing one of the biggest concerns from users shooting long video clips on mirrorless bodies. Add Canon's renowned color science, dynamic range improvements, and potential 10-bit internal recording options, and it's easy to see why this camera is already generating so much buzz. The move to a 32 mp sensor would also benefit photographers, offering more cropping flexibility while retaining speed, making it ideal for sports, wildlife, and event shooters. And if Canon maintains their excellent dual-gain output for better highlight retention and low noise, it could rival the performance of much pricier cameras. Of course, all these details remain unconfirmed until Canon officially announces the EOS R6 Mark III, but the evidence from credible rumor sources paints a very convincing picture. If Canon does launch this camera with the rumored sensor, frame rates, and open gate video capabilities, it won't just be an incremental update, it'll be a major leap for hybrid creators, videographers, and professionals looking for a single do it all system. The EOS R6 Mark III could very well be Canon's most balanced camera yet, bridging the gap between the R5's high end performance and the R7's affordability, all while introducing next generation video tools. With anticipation building and the hybrid camera wars heating up, the second half of 2025 might mark the start of a new era for creators, and Canon seems poised to lead it once again with the EOS R6 Mark III, a true hybrid powerhouse that could set the tone for the next generation of mirrorless innovation.